Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish from the Kish Cash Fund. I do apologize for being dark for a while. Um, I get a chance to do these things. I do enjoy doing them and sharing knowledge uh, with whomever. Um, and maybe I do it, you know, to help myself because I'm talking through my own trades and uh, I think uh, in, in doing that uh, one should always analyze um, you know what they're doing uh, before and after to say it to see uh, you know to inspect in order to get what you expect so to speak all right well um, I was doing these things also pushing my book um, the psychology of trading which I've put uh, chapter one on the internet so go ahead and take a look at that if you would uh, if you want to um, it is at uh, facebook.com, uh, uh, of course, and then slash uh, the psychology of trading. I hope you find it okay. Uh, if not, hey, you can always get a message through to me here or, you know, Ernie Kish at yahoo.com uh, if you'd like to uh, try to get a hold of me uh, there. Um, okay, uh, we're looking at the spider and just you know just curious I mean we, ha we have to look at the spider if we're, if we're trading because it is the big ETF if it's going up the things sh in general should be going up and if it's coming down things in general should be coming down just want to point out um, what, uh, this this block in through here is one mess isn't it I mean those that shorted it you know here um, the market come down a little bit you know during those days and then you know uh, like a, a little bit of a rebound here and then uh, down to this Fibonacci le uh, level here and uh, believe it or not look at a, a 200 day moving average you know we put these lines in to give us an idea of you know what and the heck might be going on in general so to speak so um, as traders and trading lesson goes I mean we take a look at the spider and um, that's what we're doing you know now and telling you all about it um, but this block is really interesting isn't it and it's almost like if you were trading this ETF you would not want to trade it in this block because uh, it would be such a mind buster um, there, I mean, look at it. I mean, you, you know, short it on this day and, and get lucky, and then God knows what's going to happen. You're, you're gapping up, you're gapping down, you know, and then and up a couple of days, and then a hammer here, which means like, you know, well, if it is at the bottom, it's it's at a Fibonacci line here. But look what happens the following day. You've got like, like this super gap, and it's like. Uh, wow you know and then what's going on and like you got three days and then it's like you know back down to this Fibonacci and, and it's like holy mackerel did you know uh, how are you gonna follow this thing um, in retrospect you, you look at it and say oh okay you know you put in your channel lines and you know you, you've got you know uh, you're going up here you've got higher highs developing and you've got you know higher lows developing here yeah you're, you're on your way up but what a nightmare you know so I um, you know thank God I wasn't trading the spider you know during that time and and God bless anybody that that was um, it seems to straighten out here getting into these uh, nosebleed areas I you know I think and then um, look at this here we've got our what well, our edge, our most favorite edge, uh, is the uh, uh, this this pennant ascending triangle type of thing here, and it always it doesn't always have to go up. And God, you know, there's there's a couple theories as to how far it might go up. Um, usually, the, there's one theory that says it, it it should go up at least the length of this bar here. Um, so anyway it it did it, it did a little bit more and then the following day we had uh, a signal of, of turnover right there and of course it's like super high anyway um, and then of course back down 
um, somebody decided to, 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 to buy in it didn't get back as high as you know this here if it did just just barely and then it says no I'm I'm done rather than going further up okay that's what a lot of uh, you know uh, long-term investors maybe might be looking at is geez is this thing going up or maybe should I be pulling back and a lot of them did pull back because look at where she came down to um, I don't know whether it's you know it fell you know below the the, the 20 the 50 and now it's is it headed towards the, the, the 200 and any of these Fibonacci's uh, or is it going to turn around um, I don't know there's there's not you know um, some signs in the spider that are really jumping out uh, at me saying you know uh, yeah get in on this thing and go long or or um, you know you know get in on this thing and do some shorting it's kind of like day to day um, I would have looked to possibly uh, short uh, the spider um, uh, at this doji point here uh, and you know yeah that was the right sign and the signs were because at this point here we didn't get back up to this point so uh, the traders in general are just saying oh yeah let me take my money out or you know do whatever but you know somebody sold something off because it, it did come down so here's that doji um, you know on, on like here we go boom high here uh, almost matched it here you know came down to this point struggle came back down it's like I'm going back up am I and it's like no so th this would have been a good day to you know to uh, uh, or the following day anyway would have been a good day to, to short that as we can see okay but what we're looking for are indicators is signals okay well, I think we beat the spider up uh, enough a little bit. Is it going up or is it going down? I don't know. I think I'm I'm more bearish on on this whole thing uh, than uh, uh, bullish. But again, I you know I don't uh, trade the spider. Um, but I said you know there's some interesting things going on there and market in general stuff it's a good idea to keep uh, keep a, a look at that let's take a look at something that we uh, normally trade quite a bit of okay we I hope this comes out okay uh, we are looking at our good old friend uh, Mr. Kirk's uh, pharmaceutical um, all right we've been uh, watching and playing this uh, a bit and of course we, we watched it come up here and we watched it come on down here we did not get in at any, any point we, we took a look at this hammer here and we said okay it's um, you know finding some support at some Fibonacci lines that we had laid in and uh, it's at a dollar eighty ish and um, it didn't drop back to a dollar twenty six at its low low so it's finding some support here and we took some trades um in 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 this area here um and up to about here ish and decided that well we're at this 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 is a pretty strong line it has been for for a while and and we might want to you know going back this you know in this direction here what do we got okay now is it going to go higher or not and we decided you know well we've made a little bit of money on on the upside here let's let's um wait and see again all right so we watched it come down and then we saw a very interesting thing happen when it uh decided to bounce off from the uh, this fibonacci line here which coincided with the uh the the 20 day and the 50 day if you if you'll notice on our chart also okay so um um, this day here uh, was a good trade because you know you made we made a little bit of money it stopped at at this uh, Fibonacci line here which we kind of expected it, we didn't expect it actually to go that high that day but uh, it, it did so day trade there uh, nice small day trade but 
looking at what was happening on that day that that was um, that was fantastic so okay the 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 following days here we are going sideways and then the the traders are saying you know buying in and finding su some support with this uh, it had a, a kick up a little bit and then uh, here's your your triangle right here formed right there so possibly a, a kick up so a nice place to get in somewhere in here and of course if you did um, depending on where you got out um, you had a nice ride after about the fourth day though you're looking at uh, a high uh, feeler in this trade here uh, or on this day and definitely a good good sign to you know uh, possibly uh, take your profits and and see what's going on uh, again a, a little bit of sideways action here but not a real strong uh, signal to get in however uh, look what look what did happen though it was like you know uh, being on this day and then a gap up and people said holy mackerel I, I'm getting excited I'm, I'm taking you know taking that ride um, if you were to see this in the morning because you're watching it and then buy in and then you know decide where your profit level will be well is it this Fibonacci this Fibonacci line here or or uh, at what point uh, then uh, you know taking your profit that day and then actually we're, we're, we're beginning to see some uh, nosebleed area of, of this um, um, the, the, the stock in general um, because we came up from here it's um, not uh, I mean this thing could have gone higher um, it's just usually you know you run uphill you run uphill you run uphill are you gonna get tired and it's like yeah you're gonna get tired and, and look what's happened well I, I kinda like going sideways and I get tired and like I had you know somebody gave me some NOS here and look, look at uh, spinning top doji doji and then what boom okay so if this wasn't these three days weren't a sign for you uh, to um, you know bail then um, I don't know what would have been I mean yeah maybe you're saying oh hey is this the triangle here and it's like yeah but be real careful because um, it's again it, it's run uphill um, I always put the caution out you know always uh, no matter what's going on just you know always be cautious don't go ahead and buy in on something say it's gonna do that and walk away from your you know your trade your computer your, your 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 workstation or your your automatic stop at least have that put in so that if, if things go against you uh, you don't lose money you know you lose you lose that little bit uh, you should already have it planned out how much you are gonna lose if God forbid that happens okay so that's uh, that's what's going on on with Kirk's um, you know had had some uh, a lot of uh, great great success with with Kirk so let's take a look at something else okay here's a friend of ours that doesn't trade with a whole heck of a lot of volume so we have not been trading uh, Sol Reina but we have traded it in the past and um, because I think because of the volume we we, we, we it kind of like oh my god it's a, it can be a bear to trade but but you know we we saw some some things with it at, at, at different times so uh, you know we did trade you know Sol Reina um, again I think we were bottom feeding because I mean we're, we're, we're like you know buying in here and you know like selling a little somewhere in this candle over here and then saying yeah let's get out of here you know and then watching it come back down here and saying holy macaroni you know um, and actually I think we uh, got uh, in, a, in a situation where we um, 
uh, got out, uh, we got stopped out somewhere in here, then we said, hey, look, at, I think we're going to buy back in. We did, and then, you know, we sold it somewhere along in here, and then we said, you know, this is just too much of a headache with the, with the, with the volume and whatnot. But a kind of a cute little thing that's going on here. You had, you know, a blip off the bottom here, uh, a blip off the bottom, you know, again here. Um, it hit its 200 here and then it said adios muchacho I'm on my my way back south here um, I'm not gonna trade this but uh, just look at the the triangle forming here with the doji right here on uh, you know uh, today's uh, at this at the, the time that I, we took this snapshot anyway so there's your triangle with the doji um, this is either gonna go up or down okay uh, chances are with volume it'll go up but w without volume I mean oh my god you know it's like oh god this could be like a headache okay so we're saying don't trade it we're just saying it's got some interesting everybody's got an interesting chart everybody's got a story and because we have traded this people are gonna say hey what's up with Sol Rain and it's like hey hands off because you know not enough volume but you know this is what we see this is you know what we've done in the past and we probably should spank our hand for you know even uh, getting into it but there you go with Sol Reina my friends <laughs> the, excuse the dogs bark there um, excuse that I do this from home I love working at home I have three lovely uh, uh, dogs and two lovely uh, kitty cats uh, love them very much so you know I apologize that they kind of like get in the video every once in a while with their noise and whatnot but it is cool isn't it hey you gotta love them well anyway uh, looking at PPHM uh, played this a couple years ago and I've just been watching it and uh, very interesting um, big lesson in uh, why not to stay in uh, things overnight uh, or too long um, whatever um, this has been you know like coming up through you know like uh, since around July the, the first part of July uh, from you know where it's at now at 70 cents and just 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 uh, follow with me on, you know on this thing you know a little bit here and people would say hey you know what's going on uh, uh, well, people were buying it. That's that. That's what was going on. I mean, it had some 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 buying volume, for whatever reason. And I look at uh, charts and whatnot, not as to you know so much why they're doing that. It's just like they are doing that. It's giving you a sign, and um, with the uh, with with the volume and the 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 the, the, the way the charts look, um, it's. It, th that's where I make my play it, it's and, uh, and it's like you know well yeah it's good to know uh, what the spiders doing on that day and what the Dow's doing on that day and and uh, what the the, the, the trin and in index is is doing on that day and, and things of that nature but um, in general when I'm looking at something you know the night before it's like well I'm looking at some I'm looking at this Here, here's that that triangle again you know um, however it kind of like went up and like pooped you know this way and I'm sure a lot of people saw the the triangle a little bit too and said oh geez you know it's good. and you know maybe a, it looks like a few of them you know sold off in through here but uh, there was there was enough strength and then some buying power uh, look what happens uh, you know like a little bit later uh, there wasn't uh, uh, more selling uh, so y you did have uh, uh, a rise in uh, in the stock price. Uh, again, uh, we're looking at this thing. It, n the chart pattern kind of is intriguing, and I, I think it. What I'm trying to say is is it doesn't say a whole heck of a lot to me, but I think it brought some people in, uh, especially right in when it found some support here right in through here and there's a bit of a triangle that that formed right here you know which then brought this up 
a doji right here now I would have said oh my god this thing might like tank um, at this point because I mean look how far it, it did come up um, but then something happened uh, a lot of big volume here uh, traders jumped on this thing that day and and they and they took it uh, all the way up here um, now if you had to catch this this day that would have been you know something but again there wasn't anything here that was saying you know stay in stay in stay in um, but uh, just an interesting stock and again uh, the, you'll see the the lesson in why not just you know uh, buy and hold so to speak um, here is an excellent descending triangle all right it's going in the opposite direction here we have uh, the ascending triangle with you know our support up up on top you know and our and our triangle rising our stairway rising here we have our support on the bottom and our stairway is coming down okay now I would have expected this thing to okay but that there was some something some I would I don't know what was going on on these days but it, uh, if you will it, it's almost like geez it's almost like tomfoolery because uh, look what what look what did finally happen um, so uh, we were expecting this it didn't happen till a week later but oh my god what what did happen is um, oh my goodness the uh, traders that sold this here you know in in this area uh, and and did not get back in went like holy cow I'm so happy that you know that, that that's the way that went because the the on this morning look what happened to all these people here okay so that's a very good lesson in uh, if things really don't look good for you or you're confused at all about something don't stay in these trades overnight um, especially you know the 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 um, very risky uh, pharmaceutical companies that are very you know speculative this is one of them CVM is is one right now sorry for the hum in my computer uh, sorry for the dog now barking but again uh, don't get don't get caught in in something uh, like this it's always good to uh, you know play these things and and get out on a daily basis uh, maybe some short-term stuff uh, if this was not a spec stock um, it may or may not have uh, been something to uh, it may have not, may not have been this drastic but again one of the one of the the lessons that we'll be finding in in my book that uh, that is uh, now on the internet at least we're, we're writing it on the internet you'll find uh, the first chapter there and then you'll find some more as, as time goes on is um, stuff like you know gosh if you were looking at this whole thing here right why it, it put 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 the old like holy mackerel you know maybe it's a good time to get out of this thing because um, even though this happened it's like you know if you got out and stayed out um, you, it, it, and just watched to see what was going on um, you would have said oh I'm glad I just watched to see what was going on because if this thing can up from here and it, it, it there was going to be some some nice um, edge signals uh, you know that were developing like like this one here then uh, possibly I, I would get into this trade but it, it gave you a big signal of oh oh uh oh you know so um, listen to the uh oh is what we're saying all right god bless everybody on that that was scary wasn't it okay let's let, let's take a look at something not so scary okay I hope I'm not boring anybody too too much with with all of this I, I think you can probably skip through and find out you know with stuff that you might want and and you know go over what what you don't want um, but 
you know, a lot of the times I'm looking at stuff and I'm saying, you know, where are we, where are we at on, on some of this stuff? And I, I looked at Sprint and, you know, that hit a bottom. AMD is not a bad stock. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I mean look at look at your volumes like 16 million you know trading on on the day you know 30 40 million 110 million all, all that you know great stuff so there's uh, a lot of trading that's going on uh, out there and uh, look at where we're at I mean holy mackerel two dollars and ten cents and I I, I kind of like say you know this might start going up again and uh, just just to give you an idea of of uh, uh, descending triangles again uh, again here's th th this is not a bad example of descending triangulage you know right here um, we're below our our 200 our 50 we're you know sinking below the the, the 20 and so it's like yeah well I wouldn't buy because the signal is saying you know don't buy in but you know where uh, where will the bottom be on this and then you know, we might not be there okay we might not be there at two dollars and ten cents but heck it's, it's worth looking at because you know we've watched it you know come down okay here's like, and like I say looking for signs of like when to get in when to get out we still don't want to get in on this because here's a great sign not to okay and then if you did uh, say geez am I, I'm, a, I'm guessing this is is this the bottom here this little shooting star because I mean we are at the bottom and it's like oh wow, look at this yay you know and it's like well you know if you're day trading like one or two days and see what's seeing what's happening then then that's okay but uh, try not to stay in too long because you know one two three four and then the fifth day and it's like uh where did you buy in on this uh, hopefully you know hopefully some somewhere in here and if if you're still in here uh you've got big kahunis okay so i would i would have been my fanny would have been out long before here but if you're still in here i mean you got big kahunis and i would be on my way out because look what happened you know to you and then um, I'd be just, you know, after I'd made my money here, I'm watching this and I'm going like, oh my God, it's it's falling even more, you know, type of thing. And then, you know, is it got support somewhere in here where I, I got in before? And it's like, no, it comes down. And um, hang on just a second. I'm going to be right back with you, okay? Okay, we're back. I apologize for that. But uh, to make the story short on all this uh, bottom fishing that we do sometimes, uh, we are looking at AMD at $2.10. Uh, it can go lower, however, um, I don't know. And uh, we've got uh, a pattern here uh, with, with a doji here. I'm not going to buy this thing at $2.10, but by golly, I think I am going to take a take a look at this thing, um, and I may change my mind uh, uh, in, a, in a day or two or uh, on the opening bell tomorrow, uh, because again, I, I will be watching uh, AMD. Uh, one of the other things I'll be taking a look at uh also is uh the, the broad spectrum of where amd lies and that's the uh the smh so let's take a quick look at uh, at the, at that okay here's the holder semiconductor etf uh smh of which uh, amd would lie and you know kind of taking a, a look at uh at the big picture here um, I, I just was looking at this and saying, oh, okay, studying it and, and finding out what's, what it might be doing or what it might not be doing. And it's like, hmm, okay. Well, we've, we've got some Fibonacci stretched, you know, up to this line. It went, it went up a little bit higher up, up in this here area. So I guess maybe we could just, just let's, let's do that, um, let's bring that up, uh, uh, eventually. But, uh, this thing comes down here, okay? If we were just be looking at this thing now and then looking at AMD, 
and we're looking at AMD at two dollars and ten cents this thing like touches what seems to be some support again you know here right at a Fibonacci line How about that um, but what I see that's really um, staring at me is uh, it looks like a W you know yeah doesn't it like to you look like like a W here and then you know the SMH is doing this thing and at some point I think um, within in the broad pattern of stuff here and as long as in general the uh, the economies of the world uh, it, you know as long as as Greece holds in and, and other countries hold in there for a while that we, we may see the SMH uh, rising a little bit and when the SMH rises we'll be watching AMD for an opportunity also so those are our opportunities and I hope you kind of enjoyed what we were talking about today again getting back to what um, I'd like you to take a look at if you have an opportunity to and if you would like to is, is my book on the internet at um, Facebook and then uh, facebook.com and slash uh, the uh, psychology of trading and then if you want to get a note back to me or at least um, you know take a look see see and, and in your own mind see where where the ideas that we're, we're presenting there um, how far that might might take one all right God bless keep green on your screen this is kind of a, a long lesson uh, and I had a, a lot of fun doing this today but um, again thanks for listening and uh, We'll catch you all later. God bless you all. Make a lot of money, okay?